What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. Today we are making sweet squash and mole sauce. We're actually using the same chili chocolate mole sauce that we made a few episodes ago and you can view how to make that right up there. We already have some on the stove waiting for us, but this time we're putting in some sweet squash. This is calabaza squash if you've never heard of it. We'll talk more about it later on. So, as always, all the ingredients that you need are listed below. Let's get started. All right, now the first thing you wanna do is grab one pound of zucchini or summer squash, yellow squash, whatever you can find that's of that variety. We're gonna trim it, cut it into half inch rounds. Then we're gonna throw it in a large colander with some kosher salt rubbed in. That's gonna allow the excess moisture to draw out the zucchini. We wanna do this for at least 30 minutes. Now that our zucchini is properly draining, it would be a good time to start on that mole sauce if you haven't already and you can view exactly how to do that at the video linked above. Let's go ahead and start prepping our calabaza. You can find this at most Mexican or Latin groceries. If you can't find it anywhere you go, then just get butternut squash. It'll work pretty much the same. So we just need a pound. This is actually four pounds. So we're gonna wrap the rest up and save it for later. Might lose a finger tonight. From what I have read, these also come pre-packaged, already prepared for you. So maybe do that. But it's always fun to grab a, you know, a fruit or a vegetable that you've never worked with before and work with it from beginning to end. So that's what we're doing. Okay. Probably should have looked at the best way to prepare one of these things. There we go. It smells almost like a watermelon. Now we're gonna dice this into one inch cubes. And we're gonna grab one large onion and dice that. Now once our zucchini is done draining, we are actually gonna rinse it and allow it to drain that water. Grab a heavy bottom large pot. Now we're gonna preheat this over a medium heat. Once we're getting preheated, we're gonna throw in our peanut oil and our onion. We're gonna saute this for about five to seven minutes. Now, if you're wondering why that looks a little discolored, it's because I'm using the same spoon that I used for the mole, so don't get, don't get worried. Once we're softened and translucent, we're gonna throw in our diced calabaza, along with two tablespoons of water. And we're gonna partially cover this and steam for eight to 10 minutes. Fun fact! Calabaza is a Latin American squash that is also known as a West Indian pumpkin, Cuban squash, zapallo, aoyama, and it's also a Spanish word that simply translates to pumpkin. Calabaza is similar to butternut squash and is used in everything from soups to tamales and is even candied and served as a traditional dessert on Dia de los Muertos. It's also low in calories, carbs, and fat, but high in vitamins A and C, as well as potassium making calabaza one of the most guilt-free things you can eat. All right, now we're gonna throw in our drained zucchini. We're gonna saute this for five minutes. All right, let's go ahead and grab two cups of our mole sauce. And let's go ahead and add the mole. Now we're gonna lower the heat slightly. And we're gonna simmer all this together for about 10 to 12 minutes. All right, so we want both squashes to be tender, which it does look like they are. Uh, so I think it's ready to eat. Let's try it. These zucchini pieces are a little larger than I think they might supposed to, uh, I don't know. Maybe get the smaller zucchinis. I mean, we'll see.
I mean, the mole sauce already, so we've had that before. A little bit spicy, a little bit of that cocoa coming through. I'm gonna try this calabaza. Interesting, it is like a slightly nutty, it's almost velvety. I can see the comparison to butternut squash. Both of the squashes are tender. It's good. I think it could use a little salt, but the, the flavors, you know, go well together. This has a bit of a nice fall feel to it because of the calabaza. If you need another recipe to throw the mole in, there you go. And we also have another one coming up. It's gonna be the next episode, probably. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. So anyway, this is pretty good. Uh, if you like mole and you like squash, this is for you. All right, y'all, I hope you liked what you saw today. If you did, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. And make sure to subscribe and share and comment and all that good stuff. I'll see y'all next time. Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen, everyone. Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen, everyone. Today we are making... Probably shouldn't have smacked that. Smacking the calabaza on the butt. Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen, everyone. Today we are making sweet mole There's a lot going on up here. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. Was that throwing my head around? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. Today we are making sweet I am losing it officially. I'm officially losing it. I'm going crazy. Hope you can come with me. Ah, oh, f*** it.